Others have made the same trip but never encountered such vitriol. Saul Campbell returning to the ground where he served Spurs so well. But now representing Arsenal, he's been given a reception of someone who's committed a heinous crime rather than that of a returning one-time favourite son. A torrid 90 minutes ahead for Campbell at his old stamping ground. Returning to White Hart Lane. George, it's hard to think of any comparative <coughs> situations when you look at moves you know, like Dennis Law going from uh, Manchester United to Manchester City, for example. But I can't remember a player who's been treated with such disrespect. Yes, I mean, it's something we could do without Jeff. I mean, it really is a disgrace. We've seen shots already. I mean, it's, it's almost, well, it is. It looks like total hatred. And you're talking about kids there. I don't know, they looked about 14, 15, 16. I mean, if that's the face of football, we don't want to see it. I mean, you've you got to say good luck to them. People move on in other businesses, but uh, you're right. I can't remember anything as bad as this. And I don't know what they're complaining about, because if they win today, uh, Tottenham, they can go above Arsenal, so I don't know what the big beef's all about. That's the significant thing, isn't it? A win today takes them above the old enemy. Uh, I think the thing is, Jeff, it is, uh, is the way that Sol Campbell hand handled himself. Because for, on this programme, six months before the decision was made, we were talking about it, and he kept saying how much he loved Spurs, he didn't want to leave Spurs, if they would make him the right kind of offer, he would stay. And in the end, he went. And not only did he go, he went to their rivals. So rivalry between the two clubs always as ferocious as this? No, uh, not really. Uh, it's always been very, very strong and it's one of the most important games for either sets of side. But for, for Campbell today, it must be really difficult being booed by most of the crowd. How does that feel, Rodney, when it happens? Uh, I had it all the time. <laughs> every, every week I had it, Jeff, in your way. Hey, ferocious is the wrong word, really, Frank. I was thinking of uh, unsavoury, really, because yeah. that's what it is, isn't it? It's unpleasant. And yes. unsavoury. I think Rodney... And Alan Sugar's there as well yes. today, look at that. And, and he's booing as well, have a look at that. <laughs> yeah. They're all booing each other. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the scenes at White Hart Lane. Of course, the balloons are in the Tottenham fans' hands. They plan to release those 4,000 balloons with the word Judas on them and also plan uh, a minute of contempt for Saul Campbell. The Arsenal fans will particularly enjoy that minute, one imagines. The situation is that Spurs are only a couple of points behind Arsenal in the table, though. And maybe Tottenham fans should concentrate on that fact and the fact that they will go above Arsenal in the table should they win today. And these are the scenes. Jeff Winter, he's had one or two high-octane contests to control this season, hasn't he? And here's another, clearly thought as the man for the big occasion. Patrick Vieira scored on each of his last two visits to White Hart Lane. Will he do so again? And the boos, the crescendo for Campbell. You get the feeling they enjoy being miserable, don't you? Will they be miserable around 4.50 this afternoon or not? We shall find out. The game getting underway in a couple of minutes. Saul Campbell's biggest test beyond question in the red and white of Arsenal as he returns to a reception fit for a criminal in many respects rather than a local hero at White Hart Lane. We're back with the action in a couple of minutes.